Yo, 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 big catch back up in here. It is now October, and they saying that this month is the month all rappers better watch out for Drake. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> October's very own. You know what I mean? So October, Drake coming out, he got his own rabbit hole, and everybody need to watch out, even you. You need to watch out for Drake, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to let Fantastic Hip Hop break it down without further ado, because you know I don't like holding y'all. Let's get, get, get it. As it is now the month of October, it's been rumored and speculated through some corners of the hip hop world that after a summer of humiliation and failure, for Drake, the month that is more synonymous with his brand than anything else would be the time where he will shock the rap and music worlds once again, and snatch back his crown and repolish his armor after losing so much this year, and now as Drake fans and people around him especially, I've been running around with this narrative to cope about everything that has defined this year in hip hop so far and try to make it seem like Drake's career is not in the actual state of ruin that it is. I mean, the clock is really ticking on Drake if it hasn't already expired already when it comes to him doing just one thing right to win back a fraction of his audience and the respect of the culture and now immediately as a right to start off this month drake has been spotted back in turks and caicos which i mean some lyrics <laughs> yeah i'm telling you bro he been doing his push-ups no pun intended he been look at him he ready he ready <laughs> which I mean some lyrics and jokes just write themselves. In a lot of ways, it seems like he is already back in his beak form as he is once again running around with his crew and partying the same way that he was seemingly made fun of for in the first place. And now as Drake is seemingly back in the area that he loves running to and being his most immature self at, this has seemed to kick off the start of what has been one of his most embarrassing crash outs yet because right as Drake is here neglecting the fact that he is a grown man with grown responsibilities, he has managed to only go further down this spiral that he's been on, as he has kicked this month making off more noise than he has recently, which for his standards at this point is not a good thing, as as Drake has been sitting in Turks and Caicos and partying, he decided to try and make headlines again by sending fear and shockwaves through the ever-expanding list of people who he is beefing with and doesn't like, and now this time around. Instead of releasing more music or resulting to petty subliminal disses either through his lyrics or through his social media captions, Drake has done something that's actually more direct, but at the same time a lot more pathetic as as he went on Instagram and all at once unfollowed a list of people who either straight out dissed him <laughs> or aligned with Ken. That's his lick back. <laughs> his lick back is going on social media unfollowing everybody. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar and everything he stood wow. for. Now, the people Drake is trying to send a message to that he is turning their back on them fully, and seemingly because we know he's already feuding with these people on some level, try and actually get a reaction from, include Kendrick Lamar, The Weeknd, Playboy Cardi, Joe Budden, Rick Ross, Metro Boomin, Lil Yachty, which with Drake and Yachty, it really is their own isolated situation that is much more complicated and beyond the rap world purely. He also unfollowed DeMar DeRozan, who of course was at Kendrick Lamar's pop out show and in the Not Like Us video, and LeBron James, who seemed to fully take Kendrick's side and now with all of this, as Drake seemingly did this all in one motion and shut himself away from all the names who have shown that they are done with his antics and strange ways. While Drake fans were treating this like he has made a return and this was the second coming of push-ups, as people in the OBO fandom were seriously hyping up that this is a full-on sign that Drake is back on the timing he was once on, and that he is going to have his foot on the game going forward. For all of the people in reality we have seen, by doing this, the rest of the rap world and all of the people that were unfollowed for that matter have seemed to never care less, because all in all, when it comes to the many disses that were thrown against Drake, he must not realize that doing things like this are the reason why people are dissing him in the first place, as this is the exact type of behavior that made Drake a joke. And there seriously has to be something not clicking for him or he just doesn't care about his legacy or reputation one bit anymore because for Drake to keep doubling down on these moves that at the most fundamental level are the lamest things a rapper can do in musical conflict and are pure anti-hip-hop. The lack of self-awareness and ability to counter any of these people just in the slightest bit properly at this point is showing that over everything. If you thought this month was going to be a grand comeback from Drake, you would be wrong because as we are now seeing him crash out more than ever, as his antics are getting more ridiculous and he is further alienating himself from the hip-hop world, not even just by beefing with the biggest rappers in the game, but just by constantly running around and doing things that no other self-respecting grown adults would do in an attempt to stand on their ground and send a message to somebody else. 
All in all, we are seeing Drake's own ego and pettiness consume more and more of him, and at this point, cause him to fully step into the role and the aspects of what Kendrick Lamar portrayed him out to be. And this is all just insane, because clearly, Drake has shown that he is not done with this feud one bit, and that he wants to change the outcome, but now instead of releasing more music, that maybe just has a little more effort, or even just by repositioning his lyrical fire and coming at one of the other countless rappers who have been dissing him to try and gain credit back, or even if he wanted to push it this far, he could even engage in another Kendrick Lamar-sized feud if he wanted to come at J. Cole, who he is clearly livid at. Instead of doing anything that could actually restore his reputation and credit as an MC, he would rather just do the laziest things possible, and specifically in the case of J. Cole. Drake would rather like an Instagram post of Rory and Mal talking about how Cole took a side in this beef that wasn't Team Drake. Oh yeah, he did pop out and uh, like that joint. Yeah. And this just shows the fundamental problem with where Drake is at right now and why his career will not last much longer in any sense of the word if he keeps going like this because all of these people he is feuding with are grown men. And unlike a grown man, Drake is going on social media over and over again and hitting a button to try and devalue their bond. And this is not going to affect any of them because in many cases, first off, the guys who Drake is feuding with have chosen their sides. And with the way Drake is trying to get under their skin by unfollowing them, it really only makes all of this more funny because we are literally at the point where Drake is doing things in this feud that were prophesized in memes. And now at this point, as Drake's crash out on social media is seemingly revealing every half-baked thing he is doing and making him look all the more pathetic as compared to how if he didn't project his feelings so loudly onto social media through cryptic posts, public likes on things about his rivals, or by unfollowing other people. He could take an advantage just with the art of surprise and come with some real shocking music that maybe can level the score on some level. I mean, we know he's not going to win against Kendrick Lamar or change anything there, but he could at least restore his credibility and get back into some sort of conversations if he just tried to do something respectful. But at this point, after doing a massive unfollowing spree while in Turks and Caicos to seemingly send one more message to all of the people who he is no longer on good terms with. More than ever, it's just showing us that despite anything good you can say about Drake and the music he has given us over the years, even if you don't want to face it, he has become more out of touch than ever and disillusioned with every single pillar of rap music on the most fundamental of levels, because if he did have respect for this culture and wanted to prove himself as an actual MC, he would be spending less time sending subs on social media and more writing bars, and now as Drake over and over again chooses to release lower and lower quality music, yet is only trying to get louder with how petty he is on socials. He has now taken everything Kendrick Lamar has said about him and made it sound more true than ever because if Drake cared about rap just one bit, he wouldn't be using the genre as a stepping stone to get clout from and he would be using it as a creative outlet to make himself the best rapper he could be when his back is against the wall. And now as we have only seen Drake regress more and more since this feud concluded and we have seen him show himself to be a more pathetic and bitter person than ever. I think it's safe to say that as all everyone has done for doing these moves has been laughing at him besides his own fans, and none of the people who he unfollowed have said even one thing about this yet. The silence is speaking louder than ever, and people are moving on with their careers like Kendrick The Weeknd and Cardi, who are all working on new music, or even DeMar DeRozan, who is starting out on a new team, or LeBron James, who is playing in the NBA with his son. It seems like this is the last thing they care about, and as all of these individuals showcase their maturity and growth as men, yet Drake keeps doing things like these. We are seeing more and more why all these people decided to burn their bridges with him in the first place. So now with all this, uh, let me know. What do you think about this? Damn, bro. Y'all think he step? Y'all think he gonna come out and step on everybody motion? What y'all think, bro? Drake, Drake been working out, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. He might come back with something. It is October. It's October. So, hey, y'all better watch out. Y'all better be, hey, y'all better be prepared, boy. <laughs> Big Kish signing out. I'm gone, man. Ain't nobody think about Drake.